In Los Angeles, Occupy's war on illegal home foreclosures is quickly gaining new soldiers and new battlefronts. In early October, foreclosure victim Margarita Lacero, a Mexican immigrant who does not speak English, saw a TV report of Occupy LA's successful eviction defense campaigns. She reached out to them for help, and they came immediately. Occupiers began a 24-hour vigil on the Lacero property. When marshals came from the sheriff's office to evict, they showed them papers proving the eviction was illegal and sent them away. They also began a series of actions to draw attention to the case. The reason why I'm here is because the bank uh, recently evicted me from a house. It's two houses and it's just one loan. And it all started because I asked for a loan modification and they gave me a set payment of six months. And if I paid the six months complete, they would give me a loan modification similar to that. And the bank didn't give me anything. They received a trial loan modification that gave them permission to make smaller payments so that the bank could use a loophole to steal all the money. The house currently in front of ours is my brother's and he has to leave on the 15th. And I have to vacate my house on the 25th. I found out about Occupy LA because I saw them on TV and a lady that they helped uh, gave me information about Occupy LA. We want to make sure that this family gets justice, that they are kept in their homes. Uh, we discussed it with the family and this is what the family wants. They want to stay in their home. This is a home to them for 16 years. The kids were raised so here. This family has reached out to the community and we're going to help them in every way possible to help them keep their home. Cleaning cooking for the lady of the house, um, trying to take the load off of her. And when they would make the payment for $1,500, the bank would say, thank you for making your payment. You're doing a good job. And then they would register it as a partial payment, which would allow them to put it in a separate account. And that account is a bottomless pit that allows them to steal all of that money. And on the sixth month, when the final payment happens, they reject that payment and then they keep the last five months of money, and then they for, uh, proceed with the foreclosure. In this case, they did this by registering the homeowner's social security number incorrectly. Well, this is nothing new with what uh, Dutch Bank is doing here in the United States. They are committing major crimes, massive crimes against uh, American, the American people, families. So 12.30, we're asking that people meet us at the German consulate, where we're going to demand that they hold this bank accountable for all the fraud that they've committed across the United States. We have judges who, by all rights, should recuse themselves from every case that they're adjudicating right now. Um, the banks oversee the retirement accounts, the pension funds of these judges, which means just like the hedge funds swap in public funds at the last minute before these crashes happen, um, if a judge is not on the right side of where the banks want he or she to be, um, their pension can just as easily evaporate. So the people who they're supposed to be ruling against in cases when they're acting unjustly hold the keys to their financial security for the rest of their lives. I think that was a stunning development. When we discovered yesterday that the sheriffs were knowingly lying to us and knowingly using a language barrier and race as a divisive issue, as an attempt to paint this homeowner as incompetent, and as an attempt to say that, oh, if only you'd followed this process properly, everything would have been okay. Excuse me, you can't go in there without a word! You can't go in there without a word! This is trespassing. This is against the law. Come on, come on, out, out. Thanksgiving is a time, of course, celebrated by, by many people here in the United States uh, for different things, but we also remember that this is a time of, of deep mourning and an oppression against Native Americans that suffer massacre. So it's not all celebration, but at the same time, we are thankful that we have our many blessings in our lives in the company of so many great people, supporters, and, and, and people that are very uh, selfless in everything they do. They just gave them themselves, they give themselves in, everything, in every way possible that I have not seen in all my years of my life.
The people are standing together now. We're fighting back and we are not about to give up. If anything, we are going to intensify this and we're going to fight even harder. We're going to push with both hands. Hands up and share our hope! 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 Yes. The message for Dash Van is that he has to touch his heart. We have some children who are outside of the house and we want them with us to the back. If they have their children, sabrán el dolor que es de un padre que tus hijos no estén contigo. Por favor, negocien con nosotros. Gracias.